time to do a little Suncoast shop talk with you guys. In front of us today, we have 68 RFE torque converter covers. I get a lot of calls asking, what bolts do I use? Do I use Loctite? What are these things torqued down to? So let's get into it. We offer two different style torque converter covers, one being our Guardian, which is a multi-disc. The other is our triple disc. Let's talk about the Guardian first. Guardian is designed to use the factory OEM torque converter bolts. Those bolts come in at an M10 1.5 by 16 millimeter. They're black in color typically, normally have blue Loctite from the factory installed on them. These guys get torqued down to 65 foot pounds. You were so lucky to buy a triple disc from us. These come with supplied bolts. These bolts are 3 8 24 by half inch in length. I like to use red Loctite on these. We don't want them coming back out. And the torque spec is 35 foot pounds. Make sure you're using the supplied bolt with this. I cannot stress that enough. If you have a longer bolt that you found laying around the shop, try to install it. It can actually bottom out in the cover and cause severe damage to that long of clutch. Now, on the subject of tech, let's also talk about flex plate installation. Moving over here, we have our Suncoast dual bolt pattern flex plate in billet. From the factory, the flex plate has a torque distribution shim on it, uh, which is this guy right here. That is not needed. Take this off, throw it away when you install the new flex plate. Do not run this. Although it is fairly thin, this can actually space your crank bolts further out and come into contact with the torque motor cover. The crank to flex plate bolt torque is 100 foot pounds. One last bit of info for you guys. You heard me say it's a dual bolt pattern. That is right. This fits both AS69 and 68 RFE. The larger bolt pattern that is here is for the AS69. Smaller bolt pattern is for the 68 RFE. That's all I've got today, guys. Thanks for joining us.